Hello and welcome back to City Bus Manager. And yes, welcome back sooner than I expected as well. So after the last episode, well, I kind of wrapped the series up and was like, that's it done, which was, well, I only posted it earlier today. But in the intervening time it took for me to recording that, to editing it, to getting it up, I did spend two weeks away skiing, and in that time, big changes have happened to the game. Big, big changes. Well, big-ish changes. So at the end, I sort of started wishlisting what I wanted for me to keep going with this game. And believe it or not, quite a few of the things that I wishlisted were included. So the big one is, let's have a look down over here. Where's our fence gone? We have all this new area. So they have doubled the area of our depot. On top of that, we have additional entrances like over here, over here, 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 and so on and so on. Which is all very nice. It's nice that that one lined up. Probably means we have another entrance over here somewhere. There it is, but we built across the entrance there. So that sh was done so we could limit our um, congestion coming in and out. So if you notice, this bus actually came in from over here, which is very unusual. Usually all our buses come in from over here. So this is now sharing the load around, and hopefully people are going to be happier. Our local neighbours, the neighbours around here, should have less congestion to deal with. So that's one nice thing. What you'll also notice is that I'm in the high quality again, and I can move around and do stuff. Like they've streamlined it down, they've made it a lot less laggy, and it has worked really, really well. Top marks so far, so that's all very good. Now I'm, I'm aware I have gone back a bit in my um, organisation, having to assign these buses like this but I will show you some more exciting things in just a moment although it does appear I don't have a spare TIV bus anywhere which is what I was looking for oh I do right there just right in front of me when I started off still not 100% sure why we've got these buses just scattered across all these bays it is a bit annoying but hey ho we'll sort that the other exciting thing that they've changed is if we look in here, we now have six buses across instead of the four. Ooh, very exciting that I know. I know. And the other one is that we can assign buses to groups. So if I look here, I have made these, well, I made these three down here. But it started off though, all mini buses, solar buses, double decker buses, and articulate buses are now all separated up into their individual categories if you're in manage groups we could then make new groups so i put an a group in so in here i put anything that was on an a and an h x-men anything on a cranbrook so this is a baking lettuce and tomato bt a btl a btl9 and the try two then the X-Men, this has got like the Cranbrook and the X-Men buses, so all the Omni cities. And they're the double decker. Self-explanatory is where all double deckers go. And it's like the B9 B9, or the D9s, whatever they are, and the um uh, new route masters. Solo buses are all of the um intercity LEs, and then the articulated are just like the four unit are uh, the four airport buses. And then TIV mid, it's just about pink buses that were of route operate around Tiverton. Nice and simple, fairly self-explanatory I hope there. Anyway, now that we have our categories, all we do when we come to organising is we come across the day that we want to do, then we go down here and it tells us what kind of bus. We can have like no preference or we could pick minibus, solo bus or double decker bus depending what it is. For these ones which are the A, we put the A bus on there. I filled in Tuesday all already, and we can see over here we've got three routes that still haven't gone. Either buses are broken, or maybe 
I need to get some new ones, and I am just a bit better than the um, computer at organising the schedule. I'm proud of that. I'm taking it with I am better than the computer. So all I should now is just copy and paste it over to the other days, and happy days, it'll all be sorted. All we would need to do is sort out the public service routes as and when they change. So hopefully that is now all fairly self-explanatory. So yeah, there's no way in here to assign buses to into the groups, which would be nice, or if we could assign them um, different routes to take uh, a certain type of bus like when we did our timetabling. But that's all in the future. Looking at finances though, looks like our money is doing pretty well. So today, the Friday, we've made well, we've made over, we've made quite a lot of revenue, six hundred and twenty-three thousand today, five sixty yesterday, which down here has given us a huge, a huge total of over half a million euros profit today, which is why we've actually managed to make a huge dent in our debt, and maybe this espionage or whatever it was that has screwed us over is going to be salvageable, and we won't actually go bankrupt. Which is good because with these changes, the likelihood of me coming back to Steve & Co has increased. Talking about that, the comments that I have got from you guys have been lovely. Thank you very much for that. A lot of them are saying, start a new company. I put everything that I have learned into that. Which, to be honest, is a good idea. And I might do that. And um, I've, only ever had, I've only got one suggestion for City so far. And that is Swansea. I don't know much about Swansea, but... Maybe we'll give it a go. Anyway, yes, as we can see, things are moving around quicker here, and they have managed to streamline the game again. What they've also done is we now have new public service lines for each time that we increase the map. So every time we've increased it, we've got new ones. So we've got a whole bunch in here, and then down the bottom, we have some massively, massively profitable routes. For example, like Westcliff makes 181,000 a week. Uh, Yarrick Bird of Prey, 168,000. I don't know how Yarrick Bird of Prey is going to pay us that much money. Like they're clearly not making that much. But Silverton, Silverton is a tiny little town village uh, down here. How are they going to pay 354,500 euros a week for a um, a service, which is one every 15 minutes from 4:52 until 8:52, Monday to Saturday, and then on oh, the Saturday Sunday, same times but an hour later every 20 minutes. Only 11 stops, 200 metres apart. So it's not a big route, but they're going to pay me a whole, whole load of money, which is quite nice. So we might have to get onto that one at some point and really start raking the money in when we actually get our money back and can do stuff. Um, yeah, the loans in here are still the same. Nothing much has changed in there. Um... Things are jamming up, but it's only because those buses are sort of getting a bit stuck. Um, I was told maybe this is because I've got lifting bays and wash bays all in the same building, and I should probably try and separate them. Um, this might be worthwhile trying, and I will do this when I get on with it. Yeah, there's not much I can do. I'll try that trick of deleting the bay underneath it. See if I can get shift them onto somewhere else. Does this work? Can't seem to get hold of it. And that poor Omni City wants to park in their bay. And he's not seen that there's another, there's another bus in there. Come on, you need to become better than this, my drivers. This is not good enough. You're driving like a stagecoach driver. Well, to be fair, you are public bus drivers. So maybe that's fair enough. But it seems like, unfortunately, that is not possible to delete it at the moment, as it won't let me select it. So yeah, maybe these will need separating in the next episode and that will free up this shenanigan so i think that is most things now let's see what people are saying in here so we've got some messages from a04wa wideman bus driver that's below minimum wage what do you expect me expect me here well 860 euro an hour is not a lot of money admittedly that is below minimum wage because that's about eight pounds and it's £9 an hour minimum wage in the UK, I believe, or 9 50 Either way, so yes, you are being screwed over, but you've agreed to it. And there's no union rep here to represent you. So like it and lump it, or you can walk out the door. 
Same thing for you. Hello, though friends here, I've noticed that other bus companies pay much better. I would like seeing salaries adjusted to the usual standards. Again, 990 is not a lot, but you are being paid just over minimum wage, I believe. So again, suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> oh. So there's been the changes here, been changes, like there's been big improvements, but not in my attitude to my workers. They're still here to work for me for minimum monies and maximum discomfort. Like it. Um, one day maybe I will improve my attitude towards them, but until they, they introduce a union rep here, I can get away with this level of abuse to my staff and nothing is going to stop me there. Anyway, other updates, other updates. Um, I think that's most of it sorted out. We've got scheduling sorted, it's running quicker. We've got updates with um, routes and stuff. And so, oh, one other thing, yes, this is it. So you can now queue things up to clean one after the other without having to pause it. So if you look here, I've got it to go fuel, I've got it to clean, and I've got it, got it to go for a wash. And I can do that for another bus. I can get you to fuel, I can get you to go clean, I can get you to go to the wash. I mean, it's still the improvements with it being quicker are good, but still a bit laggy, a bit struggly when it's on. And I can keep doing this. And the other nice thing is, I can keep doing this after I run out of fuel bays, cleaners and washes. And they just queue them up and when one becomes available, he will take the next spot. So I've only got the three fueling bays, and yet I've got him, number four, to go to the fuel bay. Oh, well, that number five lined up for the fuel bay. So that's a nice big update. Happy days. Anyway, this is where we're going to end the episode. So thank you very much for watching again. Um, I might see you again soon for some more City Bus Manager and some more Stephen Co. Or maybe something new in, new in Swansea or somewhere else. Keep your suggestions coming in. Um, I do appreciate them. It is always very nice to get your comments. So thank you very much. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you again soon for the next episode. But until then, ciao for now.